It's Western Canada's largest red clay court tennis facility, and it sits high up on a mountain on Vancouver Island. Fair Mountain started welcoming tennis players to its eight clay courts in the spring of 2017, and its plans are to keep getting bigger and better. What Bear Mountain wanted to do was bring in a world-class clay court club and benefit the tennis in the southern island. We do now have grass courts, hard courts, and now finally clay courts on the island, which is so unique um, to actually have all three surfaces in one area. So that's, that's huge for the island, it's huge for development, for players, uh, being able to play on the top three surfaces in the world. Vancouver Island is well known for its beauty, but Bear Mountain takes it one step further with panoramic views, forest, trails, and recreation like golf, hiking, mountain biking, and of course, tennis. If you just look around Bear Mountain, it's an amazing, amazing site. It's a beautiful place to be at. It's a wonderful resort. So uh, I think this is gonna be a big hit. We had a couple families come in last week from England. We had another family come in from New Zealand, and just a couple of days ago, we had a couple more people come from San Francisco, so it's constant. Clay is the most common surface in the world. 80, 80 to 90 percent of the top players in the world developed their game on clay, and then transitioned into hard courts and continue to play on clay. It's a reclaimed red brick and it is an island product. So uh, yeah, it was crushed off island and brought down here. So it's nice having a local product on the courts as well. I like a clay a little more because I get to do the sliding and it's easier to get to balls. The bounce is definitely different, but it's not that difficult to change from hard court to clay. You don't get that wear and tear, especially on areas like the knees and things like that, that you typically get on a hard court. It's a lot slower game. Balls also bounce higher. Um, so it, it changes the tactics quite a bit with different types of serves, topspin serves being very popular and things like that. Players playing further back in the court, so not stepping as close in as you would on a hard court. So it does change the tactics quite a bit as well. All eight courts will be bubbled and indoors, and then the bubbles will come down in the spring and they'll be outdoors throughout the outdoor season, but it'll be the largest facility in the country with red clay courts. Clay tennis courts aren't all that common in Canada, but you'll find them around the world, particularly in Europe. They're important on the professional tennis tournaments, such as the French Open in Paris and the Monte Carlo Open. We want to be able to bring in international level tournaments here to play, so We'd like Bear Mountain to be recognized nationally, internationally, you know, as a, a place to come, not only to relax and recreate, but also to compete. A lot of the main tournaments in the world, when I get older, are actually on clay, and it would be great to have an advantage on clay. Right now, Tennis Canada is a consultant of ours. Uh, they'll also be bringing in top players to be training here. We'd like to develop this into a tennis development center and eventually a national training centre. So that's a long-term goal for us, to be considered a tennis development centre for Tennis Canada. And that just means we are producing local players. Bear Mountain is open not only to top players, but also to the recreational player. It's open to people who come and stay at the resort, the general public, and joining here as a member. So here on Vancouver Island, Definitely take the trek up to Bear Mountain and check out what will be Canada's largest indoor-outdoor red clay court facility. I'm Bill, and I travel around the world checking out tennis courts. You can find out more about my travels on thetennistourist.com.